Uh, sir, uh, you are here uh, almost a month. Uh, there is another month to go. Do you already miss your home? I do, but I'm not sure my wife wants me to come back. You know, she never lets me unpack. She just says, put the suitcase over there, let me know when you're leaving. <laughs> but no, I like Poland very much. So, I, you know, I've been here many times, and uh, I enjoy it very much. So, you know, everybody gets homesick, but not that much. The people here are really good, and, and people at Osada, excellent. Excellent people. It's an excellent place to train. The staff goes out of their way to make sure that you have everything you need. I highly recommend it to anybody. Uh, last time you've been training here with Tomasz, uh, there was no gym in this uh, 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 this uh, place. Yeah, you had to go to the school to train. Now they're kind of built uh, the facility for you. Beautiful. <laughs> I just have to walk. I don't have to drive. You know, so it's beautiful having the. I, I was amazed at how quickly they built this building because the last time I was here. It was under construction, you know, and it was, they said we'd be done in February, and I thought, no, I don't think so, but they did it, so, you know, uh, and they did a great job, so, yeah, it's it's very convenient, uh, you just have to get up, go eat breakfast, come back, go get your clothes ready, go to the gym, do your workout, that's it. Tomasz, Adam, it's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sir, how how uh, are you happy with the preparations so far? It's already four weeks. Uh, how is it going? Oh, hey, so far, yes. I think he's he's uh, ahead in his conditioning than he was in the last fight. This is the second time he's worked with Cuba, and uh, Cuba is. I've worked with a lot of a lot of physical trainers. Um, I have to say he's one of if not the best trainer that I've worked with because he has a doctor's degree in physiology a lot, a lot of physical trainers are they have a good line but they're usually bodybuilders or something but but he's very good he knows what he's doing and I you know I'm, I just leave that to him the conditioning part is his uh, how would you compare Tomasz Adamek uh, to uh, Molina what are the strong parts of them well, they're both different fighters. Thomas Adamic can move. He can fight if he has to. Uh, he's got a good chin. He's a guru. Uh, he's a warrior. If he has to be a warrior, he's a warrior. But in a heavyweight division, you don't want to be a warrior too many times because your career will be very short because you're getting hit by very big men. Uh, Molina is very strong. He can hurt you with the left hand or the right hand. He prefers the right hand. Um, and it depends on how he decides to fight in this fight. He can, he can do one of three things. He can come forward and attack. He can stand back and try to counter punch. Or he can try to box. Which one comes, we have to wait and see. So we have to prepare for all of them and then we'll see what happens. Uh, for me, it appears that uh, it's almost, almost impossible for Molina to win on points. I would rather say that he will try to knock out uh, Tomasz Adamek. Just uh, the question is if he will counter strike, like you, like you said, or go forward from the first round. Exactly. I mean, that's the question. You have to be prepared. He could come out and come straight, straight to you, which is dangerous, or he could come out and look for that that counter punch to try to knock Thomas out with it. It just depends on what's in his mind. I watched some tapes of him, and uh, he's a dangerous fighter. This is going to be a very exciting fight. Uh, you asked uh, Cieślak to come here, the, the fighter, uh, cruiser fighter, uh, to, to help Tomasz Adamek uh, sparring, uh, as well some other cruisers. Uh, why do you um, choose uh, cruisers to, to, for this preparation? Molina is much bigger. They're fast. They're fast, but they're also big. Molina is, I, I think, mm, six four. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe six four and a half, which is about an inch or an inch and a half taller than Thomas. Uh, these cruiserweights are very tall, also. Mihal is is tall for a cruiserweight, and he's aggressive and he's fast. So he represents one style that Thomas will have to deal with is an aggressive style because his. He spars like he fights, you know, like it is a fight. So yeah, I like him very much. He's a very nice person, and he gives you 100%. Um, 
So the quickness will be, uh, Tomasz' quickness will be the key of success actually. For Thomas it's always the key and I believe that for him to be quick he has to spar with quicker fighters. You know if he's sparring with slow heavy weights um, he may get a little bit lazy. So I think that these the cruiser weights uh, are good for him because you have to remember the cruiser weight is as tall as Thomas and he's walking around at maybe 210 pounds. Maybe 210 pounds and uh, uh, so he's kind of between a heavyweight and a cruiserweight, and uh, and they're quick.